So today I want to show you the top niches for your SMMA in 2023 and first I want to explain how to choose the perfect niche, after that I want to go over some good examples then bad examples and at last I want to give you more ideas so that you can choose the perfect niche for your SMMA. But without anything else to say let's start because I know that your time is valuable. So here, how to choose the perfect niche. The first thing that you need to consider is that you always have to choose a niche where you have a competitive advantage. And this is a competitive advantage that you can get in just a matter of weeks or, or in just a matter of months. For example, it was a, an appointment setter for a couple of months for a coaching business. And before that, I had my own coaching program. So because of that, I had like a big advantage uh, over my competitors because they didn't really understand uh, the coaching industry and how this worked and they didn't really understand how to get clients. So the same thing happens with you. If you have a competitive advantage in something, maybe you already worked uh, as an appointment setter as well, maybe you worked uh, in the construction industry, maybe you were a real estate agent like me. Uh, if that's the case, then you can use that advantage and then you can choose a niche based on that uh, advantage that you have, even if that sounds repetitive. Because here's the thing, the grass is greener always on the other side and you will always think, no, this niche is going to be better because they have higher profit margins. No, this niche is going to be better because coaches invest more money in their business. Or no, generating leads for solar, for solar companies will be better because they can make more money. So you will always have these doubts. So if you stick to one niche, you will always win. That's something that you always need to keep in mind. That is one of the biggest mistakes that I made in the last few years. I went from dropshipping to Amazon FBA to affiliate marketing to SMMA and I tried a bunch of strategies and, and things and niches and ideas and because of that I didn't generate a lot of money, right? I was stuck for the longest period of time and I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes that I did, that I made. And here remember that expertise will lead you to money. If you are an expert, you will make money. But in order to become an expert, you need to stick to one topic, to one industry for a long period of time. So don't underestimate this concept. The niche is not the most important thing, but even though that's the case, still I want to show you good examples and bad examples. But now I want to talk about the worst niches, right? And I say, quote unquote, the worst, because like I said, there is not such a thing as a worst, as like the worst niche, right? Even niches that are really bad will always have opportunities, right? And I want to talk about that in a minute, but here, when it comes to choosing your niche, I would say that you have to choose, you have to avoid these mistakes. So you have to avoid choosing a niche where it is hard to contact the prospects. So that means that if you are trying to contact CEOs and decision makers right away, especially if you are starting out, then this can become a problem, right? Because for example, if you target real estate agents, then all of a sudden you have a lot more chances to actually find them, right? And then you can come up with a strategy to actually get responses, but that's for another video. How to book appointments and how to get those deals, how to get a high response rate. Actually, I have more videos, but the idea is that you should avoid niches where it is hard to contact prospects. If you are trying to target SaaS businesses, yes, that can be a great niche, but the problem is that finding the decision makers can be a huge problem, especially if you are starting out and especially if you don't have the track record to actually get those people into a call. I am not saying that it is impossible actually, I am just saying that it can be a little bit harder. So the next thing, you need to avoid niches with low profit margins. So if you are targeting a niche and if they are only making, for example, $50, $100 per customer, they are, gonna be, they are not gonna be very likely to invest 2,000, 3,000 in your marketing services because they are not making a lot of money in the first place. However, if you target businesses that actually make a big profit, a big profit, then all of a the sudden they are gonna be more likely to book a call with you. They are gonna be more likely to move forward with your service because now they have the chance and they have like the possibilities to actually invest in something that can help them to get these returns. So the idea is that if they have these profit margins, they are gonna be happy to take chan the chance to invest with you. For example, if you are starting out, just because they know that just with one client, they can end up covering your, the costs of your service. For example, uh, coaches and consultants have like 90 to 95% profit margins. In that case, they are selling always uh, programs for $3,000, $5,000, something along those lines, sometimes a little bit more. And if you charge 1,000, 2,000, just by getting one client, they are gonna, get, they are gonna cover your, 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 your fee, right? Like I said before. And the same thing happens with other businesses. Then you have to avoid going into niches where there is a lot of competition. 
And I am not saying that competition is bad because like always you know that if there is competition that means that there is money there. But what I am trying to say here is that on YouTube you will always hear the same topics. And I am telling you these guys because I've had like probably like 20 sales calls in the last in the last week and like five of them told me that they wanted to have that they wanted to target Cairo Cairo businesses, right? They wanted to tell they they told me that they were that they were targeting makeup artists. There were days where I literally had three calls with agencies that were targeting uh, makeup artists in the US. So I am not saying that it is like a bad niche, but what I am saying is that every if everyone is trying to do the same thing, then all of a sudden you're gonna have like way more competition, right? And and way way less chances of actually becoming successful. So that can be a huge problem. And again, another thing is e-com, right? I know that the e-com industry is still growing. I know that you can still get a lot of clients, but the problem is that a lot of the people that hop on my strategy sessions tell me that they are not booking enough appointments because they are targeting e-com. And everyone is trying to, basically basically everyone is fighting with each other because they are trying to just, to just target e-com. And I think that that's great, but again, you have to make decisions in order to, ma to make your life as simple as possible. So just choose a niche without a lot of competition. And I want to talk about that in a minute. But for example, if a lot of people on YouTube are talking about the same topic, then you have to be careful with that. Because if they are talking about that, that means that this can be a huge issue. Even like right now, I will give you some suggestions and some ideas, but because my, my, my YouTube channel is pretty small, I would say that you can, you can listen to some of the ideas that I have, but if I became like a super big YouTuber and if I had like thousands, hundreds of thousands of followers, then maybe I would be even careful with my own advice. So just be careful with all of the niches that you hear all the time when it comes to SMMA. You can always find better, better, uh, better niches. Now, another thing is that ideally you have to avoid selling an offer that has been around for years. So for example, if you try to sell Facebook ads, to e-commerce businesses, that's, that's not gonna be like too different, right? However, if you sell something like TikTok or if you sell a coach something like short form content, like a short form content offer, you're gonna have a bigger advantage. In your offer, you need to solve a massive problem for your clients, a must have, not a nice to have. So always remember that. And in order to choose the best niches, we're gonna do the opposite, right? And this is gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna end up choosing and niches where it is easy to find and contact prospects. We're gonna choose niches with high profit margins, uh, niches where there is little to no competition. For example, when I launched my appointment setting agency, I couldn't find a single video about a, an appointment setting agency. Or maybe, maybe I watched like two or three interviews about how to launch an appointment setting agency because there were like interviews, but there were no videos about that topic, right? And there was not like a course about how to do that. There was nothing in order to launch something like this. So when I launched it, I think that that is one of the main reasons why we were able to go from zero to 10.5K in just, a, in just a 35 days. So always keep that in mind. And when it comes to the offer, again, make sure to offer something that is unique, something that is trending. For example, right now, appointment setters, again, that is an offer that is trending, short form content, TikTok, but I want to show you that in the next slide right here. So the top niches for 2023. And in my experience, after working with a lot of people and after having a lot of calls with a lot of people as well, people in the, in the industry, people that tell me, yeah, right now with my agency, I am making 15K and I need help with, I need your help because of this. So I had the chance to check out a lot of offers. I had the chance to see what's going on right now. By any means, I am not saying like I am the biggest expert in the world, but what I am just saying is just from my experience after having almost 200 calls in the last uh, in the last two two three months. So here I've seen that the appointment setting agency can be one of the biggest opportunities right now because this is a problem that is a must have. Coaches, agencies, real estate agents, insurance agents, all of these guys need appointments. So if you find a way to solve that problem, they are gonna pay you handsomely, right? I think that's the word in English. They are gonna pay you really well because you're gonna solve these massive problems. Problem, they need appointments and in order to survive, they will need appointments as well. So you need to be, you can be there and you can give those appointments. And here, this is another thing that is pretty interesting, right? When you have an appointment setting agency, this is the thing, you are, you are selling the shovels, the shovels in the gold rush, right? The gold rush right now is like, everybody wants to start an agency, like a SMMA about Facebook ads and they want to start something like that, right? Everybody wants to become a coach. 
but if you sell the shovels you are gonna win right because these guys are starting out but they don't know how to book appointments so if you are the guy that provides those appointments for them you are gonna be in the best situation here so now when it comes to tiktok ads right this is another offer that i have seen one of my clients is using tiktok ads and he's almost at 20k 30k just by investing a, a few thousand dollars and we placed an appointment setter for him and now tiktok ads is like one of the biggest opportunities right now right uh, and even though I am repeating the same thing, but TikTok ads is really powerful because the cost per acquisition is going to be really low just because this is like, like such a new platform. And the same thing happens with any other platform. When Facebook started, this was like a huge, a huge opportunity. Even though Facebook was not perfect at first, right? When they, when they launched the Facebook ads, still this was like a huge opportunity because the cost per acquisition was really low. So with TikTok ads, if you have this really low cost per acquisition, it is gonna be more likely that you're gonna deliver results for your clients. And because of that, they are gonna be happy. They are gonna recommend you to their friends, to their partners. And again, you're gonna be able to keep those clients for a longer period of time. So there is like a huge opportunity with TikTok ads. And another thing that is working out really well is short form content. So I invested in a program and one of the, the strategies that they were teaching, the, the niches, uh, I mean, technically this is not a niche, this is mainly like an offer and I want to talk about the niches in, in a minute, but I've seen that a lot of people are scaling their short form content agency from zero to 10K, 15K uh, in, a really, in a pretty fast way, right? In like one month, two months. And for example, with some of the sales calls that I had, a lot of short form content agencies are coming to me and they just need an appointment setter in order to go from 15K to 30K, 50K, because they are already hitting these numbers, 10K, 15K. So this is like a huge opportunity and another thing that is like another option i would say that you ha you can choose unique businesses you can choose a unique business that most people would never consider for example in the us there are a lot of companies that for example deal with uh, like here waste management companies in this case these companies are making a lot of money as well but because this is like a weird business not a lot of agency owners are going to target something like this. But now, going back to these offers, here you have the niches. In my experience, coaches and consultants are one of the best clients right now because they are going to have high profit, high profit margins. It is very easy to target them. They are going to be more likely to reply to your messages because they are always checking their messages. And here, also, not a lot of people are actually targeting coaches and consultants. Of course, there are always a lot of offers for them, but if you have the right approach, you are gonna get responses. I've seen that if we send 100 messages, like 20% of them are going to reply and then 10% of them are gonna be warm leads and then you're gonna book like two to three calls out of 100 reach outs, right? Agency owners are a huge niche. Another thing, when it comes to the appointment setting agency or even with TikTok ads, you can target real estate agents. For example, you can give them leads, you can give them appointments. For example, with real estate agents, they have high profit margins. I would say that this is a little bit competitive, but because we can solve a massive problem for them and because they have such a high profit, such they have really high profit margins, you can have a lot of opportunities. The same thing happens with financial people that sell financial services. This can be insurance, this can be mortgages, this can be something along those lines. You can also sell something for medical for people in the medical uh, industry, uh, doctors, you know, or doctors or uh, Again, they have high profit margins, but even though these are niches that have a little bit of competition, still, if you sell something completely new, if you have a new way to deliver results and something that is efficient, cost efficient, effective, and something that is completely different, you're gonna have more chances of actually getting those clients. That's why I was saying before that the niche is not the biggest problem. The main, the main situation here is just to choose the right offer the right uh, way to solve the problem for them, those problems for them, and then just to choose something where there is like a lot of opportunity. So when it comes to the short form content offer, again, you can, you can uh, target coaches and consultants, agency owners, but also you can target people on YouTube, right? People that have a podcast, public speaker, authors, or you could even target uh, other businesses in order to create user generated content for them, right? Maybe you can help local businesses to grow on TikTok. Maybe you can help them to create short form content that can help them to get more clients. So 
Again, I know, I know that I am mixing together like niches and offers at the same time, but I believe that the niche is not the most important thing. The most important thing is just choosing the right offer. And I believe again that the most important thing is just sticking to one thing. Sticking to one thing because if you stick to something, you are always going to win. So that's exactly why right now we are helping people to launch their appointment setting agency. This is something that I did and we know that this is a huge opportunity. I can't even, I can't even handle the clients that I am getting with my appointment setting agency and that's why I started teaching other people how to launch their appointment setting agency as well because I know that there is a huge opportunity right there, right? And when it comes to TikTok ads, right now I am starting to invest, a, I am working with a company to start investing in TikTok ads because I know that there is a huge opportunity there as well. So you can use all of these opportunities, you can have all of this in mind, and I promise guys that you're gonna have massive results. So if you're interested in learning more about the appointment setting agency offer, how this works, then send me a message on Instagram, and that's pretty much it for this video guys. Hopefully this video was valuable. Remember just to stick to one niche, and you're always going to be successful. But other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.